Hello there. So this is a street epistemology like conversation I had with this uh, Japanese new religion called Happy Science or Kofuku no Kagaku. Mm, this is going to be an unscripted video based on the records I've made in that conversation. So it might be a bit long and dragged. I'm sorry for that. Uh, the, the reason it's, it's not recorded because I don't want to sound an alarm because I, this is the first time I get into touch with them. I don't know whether they have a prosecution complex or something because that was bad and because they are kind of crazy because they believe that you can talk to the spirit of the current I get well. They believe they can talk to the spirits with Putin and Obama and Donald J. Trump and Hillary Clinton and know how they really think. No, well, at least they're they they religious leader and God. So you have to be careful. Anyway, so now I first ask them how much faith do you have, and then they say one hundred percent in their reader. Okawa sensei, and sometimes they call him Sosai sensei, Sosai means president. Then I, so then I asked, why do you believe? And so they answered, well, it's not based on reason, it's just, I just believe it. So okay, I, and then asked, how do you come to your belief? So they kind of talked about this spiritual connection between everyone. They have this spiritual tree of some of something of some sort everyone is connected so when he learn a lot about when he read a lot about the, the the religious books they have a lot of books just in case you don't know and if you haven't watched the previous two videos i made on this subject please watch them um so it, it will help you understand better understand this conversation we had so then i asked to make sure okay so you're saying you feel something when you're reading the books? Is that why you believe? And then, okay, they're kind of like, yeah. And then, so how, how can we know? So then I ask, how can we know this book is actually from, from God? How can you know the feelings are actually from, from Orkawa Liho? And then, so they kind of restate, I, I believe in Okawa Liho, that's why. And then, so I asked, why do you believe? So I kind of got into a certain argument. I didn't point to them, but then I just repeated it back to them. And then I think that they realized it. So they, are, they then went on to the next point, which is they, they think everyone has the a, a, a nature of Buddha, or in Japanese called Busho, which is like uh, one Christians tell you what would Jesus do like the, the Jesus test that they just use it they just do the Buddhist test anyway so they have that and you can distinguish well more what's morally good or bad so then I kind of asked uh, but how do you know that's a hmm I, I think what I ask is how do you know that feeling is from God and so then they kind of says okay so everyone kind of can have different methods to go to a God and because this is where I should have stopped the conversation this is where I went wrong I, because he said I'm not a very mm, I'm not an officer or anything. I don't know a lot about these things. So he's kind of trying to disentangle himself with his beliefs. Like he stopped being personal. That's why I should have stopped and say, okay, can you just, okay, if that's the case, maybe I should talk to someone else. But can you give some thinking to what I, the question I just asked? That's why I should have stopped. And so he, he kind of said, everyone kind of have their different method to reach the conclusion of God but how can 
So then I use the outsider's test, say how, but there are people who reach wrong conclusions. How can we reach the right conclusion? I think that's the question I asked. Hmm. I think the conversation kind of got really bizarre, like it got like unfocused at this point, because I think he's trying, kind of trying to dodge, because as I said, I should have stopped the conversation right there because he's now entering in the defensive mode. But just you wait, because I brought it back to epistemology again. So uh, there are several points we went through. One is that a weak person cannot help others. I don't know why that's related to, I, I think maybe he wanted to be strong. I think, oh yes, yes, yes. This is one of the conclusion I end up making. They wanted to have superpowers. They wanted to have like this secret powers by going through the religion because they believe these advices are given by God himself. And of course, in the format, they cannot hold God accountable because God is currently in flesh and he could make mistakes, but it's still the best advice you could follow. That's where I should have pressed on if God can make mistakes because they admit God is here in flesh. That's why God can make mistakes and God doesn't know everything. Their, their religious leader doesn't know everything. And that's where I, I should have pressed on them. How do you know it's God? How can you tell a very smart person from God? That's, yeah, that's where I should have, what I should have said. And uh, basically they are saying that reading these books are kind of improving yourself. So they are very encouraging of learning things and self-helping. So they kind of encourage their believers to read a lot of their books. But again, this is a bookstore religion. And so then he kind of brought this idea of... Uh, uh, the method of deduction. Well, actually, the method of... Oh, right, they first talk about a statistical method. So basically you say, you have seen a thousand swans and they're all white, but if you then seen a swan that's black, then your method kind of fails. So, and then they say, uh, apart different from that, the method of deduction, which because I, I didn't know the words in Japanese, so I kindly asked them, they kindly explained to me. And okay, yeah, okay, so, yeah, I, I know that. So I, I think that's what that was a nice thing to do because it shows I am humble, I'm not like overreaching, I'm not pretending to know what they are thinking and patronizing them. Not, yeah. Mm -hmm. So then they say, but the step from being statistical to deductional is the step of faith. Because you're, now you're assuming a premise, then through that premise you're getting a, a result. So basically, so that's one I made sure I understand them. So basically, are you saying your premise is that Okan Yuho is the God, and be, and because it's Wakang Yuho's teachings, therefore it is right. So, and he said yes, and then I asked, okay, but in in this way, if your premise is wrong, you can get the wrong answer, right? Because for example, if you believe all swans are white. And then you say, okay, this is a swan, therefore it is white, but you kind of fail on black swans. So how can you be sure? And that's where I got him to think. That's, I think that's the success I had in that conversation. And then we kind of got dragged again. So because he's the best god, therefore he's correct. He's have some very supernatural things. Oh, and uh, there, there's one of my favorite one, because this is a book that has to be written by God. I feel it. I feel it's God. I chose the wrong question to ask. I chose 
so why do you think other people in other religions also feel things about theirs? They are pantheistic. That those religions have some right things in them to them to those people. They believe other religions came from their god and leader as well. Uh, I'm glad I have a mostly atheist audience because it's not very much just this like. Wait, my Bible came from your God? I, I, I'm afraid that's gonna happen. Anyway, what I should have asked is how do you distinguish a very smart human's book from a God's book? Like, if you have this feeling, I, I could have said, I sometimes have very nice feelings when I'm reading a book. I think, okay, this is marvelous, this is incredible when I'm reading a book. But I'm very sure those the people who wrote those books are just humans. So how can we be sure those are that came, that came from God? Because sometimes those are written by atheists. And they hate atheists. So, you see, you cannot say you're an atheist when you're doing this. Like, I, I know this sounds dishonest, but when you have this dogmatic, when people have this dogmatic hate to atheists, you have to kind of hide yourself to have any use for conversation. You can say this, well, I'm still looking for God. Which is true. I mean, for me, atheism is the best way to look for God because it didn't fail me on saying a false God is true. Oh, by the way, in Japanese, you never say a God is false or a religion is false. They, they don't say that because they are Japanese and that's their culture. They just say it's less good. It's not the best. That's, why, that's, that's how you want to frame the conversation because I kind of... When I did that, it kind of, it, they are very reluctant to admit other religions are less, other religions are bad. Even when I said about, talked about Jehovah's Witnesses, and then it took me several questions to make them say, say it in very low voice. We think they are controlled by the demons. And so there's that. So basically, I think one big wall I hit from them is this pantheistic belief and humans can have some supernatural abilities to them. Mm, yeah, and because they are then saying religion have their, how do I say this, temporal characteristics. They are for that age and that area and therefore that ethnic group. But the fundamental things which they conveniently can cherry pick doesn't change. Of course it doesn't change, you picked it. But that's what I said in myself, but I couldn't. And another, they kind of said, no, nah, actually that's it. That's just something only works in, that's just an expression in Japanese, I guess. It, um, doesn't matter, it says uh, lies are kind of like accents. <laughs> That's a Japanese thing. So that, and I mean, they, they do believe all the nice things because they are a new religion, they can have all the new moralities, they don't have to be bound by old moralities of the old religions another challenge I had in this conversation because you cannot say is genocide do you honestly feel genocide is something what Jesus would agree on it's really yeah but see this really shows like because I'm so used to dealing with Christians because that's why I became an atheist, because some of my family turned Christian and lost their own sense of judgment. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoy this converse, well, one-sided conversation. 
and hope you learned something about them. Thanks for watching.